Today, we are going to go over and we're going to talk about these ID1300X2 model and inject fuel injectors that I run on my 2010 Cadillac CTSV. I recently had these fuel injectors cleaned, flow tested, and back flushed, new seals put on them, the whole nine yards, and got numbers of them, how they were dirty and then clean and this is how they come afterwards. Please, if you would though, before we get into this video and what we're gonna talk about, please hit subscribe. Also, please like the video and also please leave some comments. I wanna hear from y'all. Let me know if you think these videos, I'm gonna show you of the process of checking the spray pattern, checking the uh, static flows and such of these fuel injectors, if you think it's cool or not. I personally think these videos are super cool I'm about to show you. But let's start with this. Again, these are the Injector Dynamics 1300X and they're the two model. So they have different models. Most don't know about the different models and such. I didn't even either until I took them in for cleaning. I took them in to Brian Thurston for cleaning and you may be familiar with his son Taylor Thurston who does the Taylor's Insane Turbo Systems. If y'all haven't before go check out his YouTube channel. Brian, his dad, is doing the fuel injector cleaning and he's really good at it. He's got what he does down to a science and in my opinion it's very professional. Everything's all clean. They look like brand new. It's vacuum sealed in this package with all the paperwork and all the flow testing numbers and such. I'm going to post a picture of the flow testing results and we're going to talk about those. But first, I'm going to start you all off with some videos of the cleaning process and the spray patterns and all that. Let's watch some of those here. Good. Patterns look good. All right, so now now that you've seen those videos, which like I said, I think those videos are really cool. It's a pretty neat machine that does all the flushing and the cleaning on these injectors. And I think I could sit there and watch that almost all day long. It's pretty mesmerizing to me, but leave in the comments a comment and let me know what you think about those videos. So next we're gonna get into the actual flow numbers. So I'm gonna put up some pictures of the flow numbers and the dirty numbers versus the clean and we're going to take a look at those all right so here's the first piece of paper and flow numbers that we're going to go over 
These injector dynamics injectors, they've been run for right around probably 18-ish thousand miles, maybe 20,000 miles. Mostly they have had pump E85 put through them and are about, I think, three to at the most four years old. So Brian ran them at 43.5 PSI on these tests. And the first test up at the very top, you see test A. It says injector test before cleaning. So you've got a static flow of 1,200 cc and then a dynamic flow of 172 cc on the first injector, 172 on the second, 176 on the third, and you can follow it on down. On the far right, he puts up there the actual uh, part number or the uh, injector number that is actually listed on every injector and those numbers off to the right side, P1, P2, P3, P4, D1, D2, D3, D4, those are the order that I took them off the fuel rail. So that's passenger side, the front injector is P1, passenger side, the next injector is P2, so on and so forth. So in this here test, you can see that the flow number's dirty versus what was gained. So you can see the static flow went from 1200 cc up to around 1230 or 1260. And then you can also see that the dynamic flow increased a good bit as well. So as we look down in the bottom, you can see the percentage increase of every single injector, what it increased from being dirty to being clean per injector. So I think it's pretty cool data. I was actually, I guess, a little bit surprised by how much it actually picked up. But I figured while I had the car down, I may as well have them cleaned and see if they were very dirty. And they needed new O-ring seals, which he did as well. He changed out the filter baskets too. And as you saw in all the videos, he even back flushed them and just went through everything. So these are the flow numbers at 43 and a half PSI. Now we're going to look at the next piece of paper, which is going to test 43 and a half PSI and 58 PSI. All right. So here on this next sheet, you can see the 43 and a half PSI on that top right hand corner. And then below it on the next section down, you can see 58 PSI. Don't pay any attention to the injector test before cleaning and injector test after cleaning. That's just what it says on the paper. And in this instance, he just used it to test for the different fuel pressure differences. So also in this test, we have pounds per hour, which many people are very familiar with and I was very curious as to what it flowed pounds per hour at the different PSIs as well. So starting with the top, you can see the dynamic flow numbers and static flow numbers are carried over from the previous page, which was clean. And then you can see the pounds per hour ranges from 117.1 pounds per hour to 120 pounds per hour. And then on the bottom of the sheet, you can see that the pounds per hour at 58 PSI was between 134.3 pounds per hour and 137.1 pounds per hour at 58 PSI. Also, the static flow jumped up to 1,410 cc to 1,440 versus 1230 to 1260 cc and then the dynamic flow numbers jumped up to 200 to 204 cc also if you look on the far right you can see the static different percent diff percentage between the injectors so in between the injectors at 58 psi you've got 2.1 percent differential between all the injectors and at 43 and a half you've got 2.47% difference 
on those injectors of that PSI. So I think it's, again, pretty neat to get the different test data and to have them thoroughly gone over. And I will also throw out there for more information that Brian has said that the injector dynamics injectors are the best injectors that he deals with. He has the least amount of issues. The other injectors uh, called FIC injectors that y'all also may be pretty familiar with, he said that he's had to do two sets of those injectors before just to even get one usable set. So that's, that's just some stuff that he's run into before when testing those. So he said the injector dynamics are great injectors, according to him and his book and all his testing and dealing with them. He said they're great injectors. They always seem to flow relatively close to one another and always be within spec, have great spray patterns and everything. So he, he couldn't give the injector dynamics injectors really high enough praise he just went on and on about how good they were which made me feel really good that that is what's on my car i didn't even know that there was that much difference between the injector dynamics and the fic uh, type of injectors i hope that y'all have found this one interesting intriguing and hopefully informational i personally didn't even know what these injectors flowed uh, just, you know, out of the box and stuff. I always knew they were like 1300 CC injectors, but I really found it pretty neat to be able to see what all goes into it. I'm happy with what I gained and I hope y'all enjoyed the video. So keep those subscriptions, the likes and the comments coming. Thank you.